Uh, time now for our first guest, who's no stranger to playing controversial characters, both in Channel 4's Shameless and Hollyoaks alike. Uh, he's also starred alongside our very own Denise Welsh in BBC One's Waterloo Road. Now, though, he's turned up in the Dales as Jackson Walsh, and it looks like romance is blossoming as he helps Aaron come to terms with his sexuality. What's your boyfriend? Is it worth it? If you hit him, you go to jail. Yeah, I don't care. But if I hit him, it's just a caution, isn't it? What with it being first offence and everything? Yeah, I think we could do some right damage. What are you going to do now, eh, sweetheart? Get off me, you sick of Cheers. No worries. So why did you come and help me? I mean, we both know I deserved me had kicked in. It just didn't look like a fair fight, did it? Right, I'm gonna be all right leaving you alone here, aren't I? You're not gonna need me help anymore. Well, I'll shout you if I do. Please welcome Mark Silcock. Pertinent is that to the whole storyline that you're working on at the moment? Because that's sort of when he, he Jackson comes back, even though he really he should be quite cross with Aaron, he steps in and becomes his mate. Yeah, I think that's a moment basically where things start to thaw again mm -hmm. between Jackson and Aaron. I think that's where Aaron realizes that Jackson still has some feelings for him, really coming and helping him in that situation. So mm -hmm. I think that's at the, the cusp of the change of the situations between them both. And for those who haven't seen it, how do the two of you actually get together? How do you meet? Uh, we f originally met just out in a, in a gay bar a couple of months ago, it was on screen, um, but after this, uh, the episode that comes out on Thursday, mm -hmm. we end up uh, just having a bit of chat in the wool pack yeah. and talking about Aaron's um, past suicide bid, really, and yeah. I think that's a major point as well, and a major issue that brings them a bit closer together, understanding why he did it and how we felt, how Aaron felt during that time as well. Mm -hmm. This is a great storyline, I have to say, and I think you're brilliant doing it. Um, but when you first went in, did you know that this was going to be your story? Had you any idea? Basically, when I turned up, I was just told at the audition that the character would be a gay character and would be comfortable doing that, but I had no idea which way the storyline would go and how, how big the storyline would get, really, so no, I didn't know. And has it, what, how's been the, the reaction from the audience, have they? It's been fantastic. I mean, we've had a massive reaction. We've had people coming up and just saying, enjoy the characters and the story and then we've had people coming up and saying they've been through the same things themselves really so mm. it's been really good for on both sides people enjoying it and people relating to the characters as well it's not a stereotypical um gay character is it that we've seen in, in lots of other programs this is this is something i think that people out there could really relate to yeah it just happens to be two normal people that are gay really there was no what the producer told us from the very first day and from the, when the storyline started to be laid out that it wasn't going to be your stereotypical typical yeah. uh, mm -hmm. gay couple. It was just going to be two blokes. And it looks like it's going to carry on for a bit, though, doesn't it? Because you've got... Yeah, Your does. mum's coming into it. My mum's coming into it. Well, Pauline... his mum's coming into it. Not yeah. your mum, but... Uh, Pauline Quirk's Pauline coming Quirk. in to play, uh, yeah. to play my mother, Hazel, uh, which should be fantastic. So I think she starts filming at the end of this month. Yeah, oh, so how long are you going to be in it? Uh, at the moment, gonna... all I know is that I'm there until February, I believe, next oh, year, right. which is nice, which will see me through through Long a year, time. so any anything after that will be a and, bonus. And how important was, was it to both of you to, uh, to get this right? Because you're both straight men yeah. playing gay characters. How, I mean, was that difficult for the um, two To of begin you? with, it was. I mean, we had our, the first kiss, which was just a sort of peck really after I'd only been at work for four days which was a bit awkward only knowing him for four days yeah it was just just yeah just a tad awkward but um if all we, we were filming outside in Lee City Centre and it was Paddy's day so we had a whole crowd of people queuing up watching us kiss and it, that was awkward but since we got to know each other basically we've just sat down and had a chat and talked through it and, and you've just got to get on with it we've just got to get on with it but what we'd much rather just pushed aside our you know our uncomfortable feelings if it, as it were to make sure it looks right on screen really because yeah, we don't yeah. want to make you don't want it... to make people uncomfortable yeah it, really. i mean it's uncomfortable enough mm. having to watch yeah. two 
blokes kiss, but it's not something that we want to bring How to the family? Family. How... on How is telly is uncomfortable. Well, yeah. well, I don't think so, it. How <laughs> are your family? How, how are they reacting to this? Yeah, fine, job's yeah. a job. If it, wasn't, it, if, yeah, it wasn't exactly. here, if it wasn't here, I'd be at home on the couch. My mum would rather have me out working than yeah. sat at home, so she's happy as long as I'm out of the house. what about your friends? Did they take, like, They're the fine, they're all right. I mean, a lot of my friends I went to uh, acting college with, so they're fine, they yeah. know it's a job. And, and you, you left acting college to take the job at Emmerdale, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I left Hollyoaks last September, and then about two Two days after I left there, I went uh, to university to do film and media. I did the first term, and two days into my first second term, I was offered the part Emmerdale, so I was allowed oh, to leave, and I've been working there ever since. It's been good. And is it the kind of thing you'd like to get back into, or uh, you yeah, if to at any working? point, and hopefully the work will carry on. So yeah. hopefully I'll, I won't have to. But if work stops and I the, the, the Mm. correct time for me to do that, then yeah, I go back to university easily. And how about footy? Did you watch on Saturday? Yeah. Look at the eyes! Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what do you your take yeah. on it? Go on, tell us. Was it great? Was bit, it good football? Bit of a kick in the nads, that one, wasn't oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> Not impressed with that. Well, what did you Poor think show. of Robert Green's mistake, and how do you think that he should deal with it now? The, there are mistakes that people can make, and, you know, the, go, a goalkeeper's mistakes are highlighted a, a lot, but mm. there are mistakes people can make but at the end of the day it wasn't a mistake that needed to be made it was just mm. him not doing his job properly and I think that I think that a new goalkeeper should be brought in oh. if you're, in, if you're in, the, in, the, in the real world if you do, your, if you, if you do your job poorly you get the sack so well, I think you should be sacked off and also it's interesting pass. you say that because we did a straw poll of the you know the, the crew here because obviously we're all we're all minute women and most of the most of the crew here are guys and they disagree with you they think that he should be given another another chance so you well, know who, who knows you can't just blame him he made a great save then later on yeah he made, he made a fantastic save later he was on doing but, his job. but he was doing his job <laughs> Exactly, he's doing his job, he should have made that save to start with. Is it with. because they had a funny ball? No. Is it with a funny ball? Because yeah, I've heard, new, I've heard they've got a funny ball. They've got a new ball and still got no new, excuse they've for got it. new stitching and everything. Well, not all the, all the goalkeepers haven't been doing it. Oh, no. I know, you don't want a little bit of needlepoint to get in the way, do you? <laughs> Lovely to see you, Mark. Best Thank of luck with, with your storyline on Emmerdale's. Mark Silcock, everyone. <laughs> okay, time now for another break. Uh, while you let the cat out or make yourself a cup of tea, consider this. When it comes to food, does size matter? When it comes to food, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you at three.